Good morning, everybody. No, we're still working on the old uh, fruit wood uh, spoon here, and we've been doing some uh, light axe work to kind of form the uh, the outer bowl area. And you can see our little tracings and stuff. But this is what has come from that log that we started with uh, in the other video. So we're sitting there just making the uh, light strikes to form the. Uh, bowl you don't want to hit too hard make the big disastrous uh, cracks and cuts and whatnot but slowly getting it down to a decent shape decent size it has a uh, this is the last uh, of the really warm days. It's supposed to get to around 80 Fahrenheit today. And after that, it's going to really drop off significant light. And uh, of course, we got that uh, Hurricane Milton bearing down on the Florida area, which is about a thousand miles to the south of here. And it's uh, got the ocean churned up all even out in in the Atlantic and everything with all the other storms going and but in the next few nights it's supposed to actually get uh, chilly brisk 51 52 53 uh, Fahrenheit so kind of looking forward to it all right we are using the old hook knife here to dig out the uh, spoon bowl this is a slow process But I enjoy doing it. Hear all the birds in the background. You can definitely tell that the uh, seasons are starting to change now. This thing uh, is going to have some really nice. Uh, markings in there you see where like a, a limb came in right here it's really cool all right we're at that stage here of the build where you have to make a decision whether you intend on using this spoon uh, in a real life scenario slash feeding yourself or something like that or you just want to have it for like a show or something like that if you need to you know get to a point where you just need to work on the crank if you're going to use it in real life you know whether it's uh going into the gravy bowl or a soup bowl obviously something this big is not going to fit in your mouth for you know soup purposes so if, if you were going to use it in real life you're going to have to really take more of this down now if you were wanted to refine the crank a little more and make it where you know you could get into a bare bowl and dip out some soup and stuff like that you want to make it where the crank is a little bit more pronounced and of course you're always uh watching for cracks and stuff like that and they have a tendency to show up but you can see uh where like a limb was here and the limb was here like that then you come down here you know the cross section of the trunk see it see the rings and it looks like at some point in time there was like water damage let me get that other uh thing this is uh the other half of that limb that the spoon came from uh, that's where we came from so far in the build from this to this okay man Working on our spoon here. We've got the old Sloyd knife here. Kind of hogging off some of these high spots. And the deeper you get, the more uh, pronounced the uh, 
grain gets and you can see how the wavy lines and tells you that it's you know different rainfall rates and all that kind of stuff over the years. And, You get a couple little cracks right in there, but that's no big deal. Once you get everything all sanded up and stuff, and on the final, I like this little, uh, this little limb came in right here. I'm using the uh, hook knife. Dig our little uh, bowl out. Still got plenty of heft to change the shade and refine it. You see how you get like green wood gets cracks in it and stuff. But that can be easily uh, patched up. And normally, once you go a little deeper, the cracks will disappear. No how. the temperatures have dropped uh, from warm actually almost hot uh, right now it's like 59.1 degrees Fahrenheit um, we'll stop a little short calling it brisk but it feels good it's good to be outside and stuff so, uh, this is a detail knife right. slowly knife Hook knife, the bigger version of it. Looks like everybody's doing good. Prayers to our friends down Florida that are dealing with that uh, Hurricane Milton. That thing sounds like a moose. Hopefully, everybody will. Heed the, the warnings to leave and stuff, and all of our friends out in the Appalachian areas of Virginia, and Tennessee, Carolina, um, the flooding, and, and, and immense disasters. Prayers to all y'all. Yeah. I get a number of questions that how long it take to do this, and I had mentioned before that I mean, if you really sat down and you probably do this in a few hours, but I'm at that uh, point in my life where I don't do anything in a rush, and I just enjoy it and knock it off and move on to something else. And so we'll probably end the video right here and take it up next week I'll try to get it uh, to many uh, of your videos as I can all of you are extremely uh, talented at what you do and passionate you know. so we'll be seeing you alright take care